All right. The second exercise that we're going to do sort of balances or counters the first exercise. The first exercise was hip extension. So now we're going to do an exercise that's called hip flexion. Okay. The best way to do this is to find uh, something like a couch maybe, something that you're going to be able to slip your fingers underneath to uh, anchor your hands. Because the starting position is going to be on your back like this, and you hook your hands, you know, underneath the edge of a couch usually is, a, is probably the easiest way to do it. You can start by bending your legs slightly as, they, as your feet are resting on the floor. You don't need to do this exercise with straight legs. You can keep your knees bent slightly, all right? And what we're going to do is create a scissor motion with our legs. So we're starting here, and the scissoring motion is like this. Okay? Now to count out 10 repetitions, what we want to do is count out 10 repetitions with each leg. So here's how this is going to work. We're going to start out. We're going to go, all right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right? And rest. That's called hip flexion. We're going to do the same progression that we, we did with uh, hip extension. Start out with one set of ten. Work yourself up to two sets of ten, then three sets of ten. Uh, move ahead to three sets of fifteen, and then eventually move ahead to three sets of twenty. And then once you get to that point, you can add in your ankle weights uh, and start working with a little bit more resistance. Hip flexion. Give it a try.